Fucking fly, damn it! I hate flies. Who's the best against We Not in the New Abyss? Honestly, fucking no one, man. We Not is a fucking shit unit. A uh, shit care. A shit enemy. Sorry. Really fucking shit enemy. That will make all basically everything feel b worse than it usually does. Um. Usually, teams that are more aligned with like mono. Or at least having one main source of damage uh, will tend to do better because the Wii Nut has pretty high resistances as a baseline. And when you like pop the bubbles, he loses resistances, but only to the element that popped the bubble. As far as I'm aware. Which means that if you can pop the bubble with the element that does your main source of damage, you'll get a lot more uh, you'll get a lot more damage, right? You'll get a lot more value out of it. Um, any any strong single target team can get past it. Uh, if you get fast enough on the first side, you can also potentially get past it with a team that's even that's not like that great in single target. Right? Like I, yesterday, I played uh, Kandaka, Kuki, Dendromain character, and Yao Yao as my as my team on the second side. And I actually did manage to clear in time to get my three stars. And it was with Deo on the other side of all fucking carries. Wait, no. Was that one with Deo or was that one with... I think that one was with Monoparo Deo, right? Did I already do Baiju pre-release? No. I could do it soon. The thing is, he's kind of boring. And so is Kaveh. Like... Kaveh's gimmick is fucking, like, horrendously unplayable. Like, he's so bad at his gimmick that he is going to be better as, like, a Hyper Bloom driver than at what his kit is designed to do. Which means that at the end of the day, he's just another Hyper Bloom driver, so it's like, whatever, cool. And then Baiju is, like, so boring. Is Baiju better than Yao Yao? I, I wouldn't call him worse, but I don't know if I'd call him better. Uh, I feel like it depends on what kind of teams you're playing them in. Um, if you're playing it, if you're playing them in like teams that rely on bloom generation, so either hyper bloom or burgeon, Yao Yao is going to be significantly better in AoE. Um, because she has actual AoE, unlike Baiju. All right, so yeah, so stuff so like Nilo Bloom. Yao Yao is going to be better. Um, this of like Burgeon. Hyper Bloom teams in general that like care about AoE. But it's also like he's so energy hungry. Do I think rolling on Ayaka banner mainly because you really want to get Sucrose makes sense? Uh... I wouldn't recommend it. At the end of the day, four stars like the the way that the way that pity works for four stars, you don't get a guaranteed four like a guaranteed specific four star at any point, right? With the five stars, if you get the wrong five star, you're guaranteed that the next one will be it, right? With a weapon banner with a five star, uh, you can at least happen to my path so that it's gonna take at most three pities. With four star characters and four star weapons, actually, for that matter, if you're only going for a specific one, it's very possible that you're just not gonna get it in a lot of pulls, right? Like if we if we actually take a look at the probability distribution, right? The odds that you get a The consolidated odds that you get a four star, right? Bro, details. So the base odds are 5.1, but the consolidated odds are 13%, right? Which means that it's gonna take you on average 7.7 .7 pulls for each four star. 
Now, out of that, right? Um, out of that, you have a... Twenty-five percent chance that your first hit will be an unbanner character. Wait, no. No, a fifty percent chance that it's an unbanner character. And then a thirty-three percent chance that it's the one you want. So the odds end up, or actually, but then the next one is guaranteed, which means that on average it'll take you 1.5, so it's this, right? So on average, it'll take you about 34-ish, 35-ish pulls to get the five star, uh, the four star you want on a banner. But the thing is, if you do a hundred pulls, right, you can expect to get about, what the, oops, about 13 four stars. Out of that, About eight or nine, let's say nine or eight, let's say eight, let's say nine. Nine are on banner. Right? So. Number. Like, there's still an actual chance that you just don't get it in 100 pulls. And the reality is, like, there, there's a, a thousand people watching right now. A little bit over a thousand. That means that if everyone's doing it, there's 30 people for, for which this is going to happen. Right? And if it does... Is going to feel so fucking bad. And the worst part about it is that if it does happen to you, you're no closer to getting it, right? There's no, like, pity system, right? If you do get this 3%, your odds of getting sucrose on your next pull are still exactly the same. Which is to say, not that great. Point being, if you don't care about a five star and you're pulling on a banner, on a banner specifically for the four stars, it can't be on a banner where you only want one of them. Because, like, holy fucking shit, you do not want to be in a situation where it happens to you. And especially considering how bad Mika is... And how useless a lot of the Diona's constellations are. Yeah. I-36 started this abyss with Dea. Right? Like, when a unit is not that great at something, it doesn't mean that it's unplayable. Like, with Dea carry. Like, Dea with Mona. Right? I think it's a fucking terrible team. And I still 36 started with it. Like, I'm not... It's it Just because something is bad, at, like, or... or I mean, with Dea, it's bad. With Nilo, it's not bad. It's just, like, slight... It's just, like, slightly not that great. Doesn't mean that it can't clear, right? Anyways.
And I do stand by that. Sing-So is the better Hydro. Sing-So is always the better Hydro. No matter what team you're in, it's always Sing-So over Yilan. There are situations where Yilan can give you a little bit more damage, but because of Sing-So's defensive utility, I'd argue that he's still always better. Even in the teams where you get slightly more damage uh, with Yilan. I think Nilo is good. And I think she scales pretty well with vertical investment into an account. I agree. Let's move on. Do do do